Hello, Laverne here, and thank you for joining me. May this video be a blessing to you, and may it honor and glorify God in His kingdom. I'm making this video in response to a question I've seen over and over uh, in, my, in my comment section uh, to my videos, as well as on my homepage, and on the homepage and comment section of other people's videos. I've also seen it uh, presented in video form, where atheists have posed a question. And so that's what I'm responding to, is this question. And that question is, who has killed more people, uh, according to scripture, God or Satan? And the premise behind the question is the assumption that because God has killed more people than uh, Satan, that God is therefore more evil, and that God is not a loving and just God, but rather an evil dictator. So this is what I'm responding to. Now, the question that is most often presented, in fact, always presented as I've seen it, is it's formed as such. Who has killed more, according to Scripture, God or Satan? And the question, if looked at from that perspective, is without doubt God. The problem is, is in the wording of the question. For if we look at what killing entails, that means all killing. However, if we identify whether or not the person was innocent or guilty, was he righteous or unrighteous, was he good or evil, when we look at these things, then it puts it into a different perspective. And the proper question, the question that really needs to be addressed, is not who has killed more, but who has murdered more. For there is a big difference between the definition of killing and murder. When you look at killing, that entails every kind of death that one person causes over another. Say a mercy killing. Someone who is in horrible pain. They have no hope of ever coming out of that pain. Or somebody is in a vegetation state. No hope of coming out of it. And the plug is pulled. We can call that a killing because we cause that person to die, to, to expire. But there's another term for it. It's not really, it's not considered murder. Same thing in war. Yes, people are killed in war and people do the killing. But it's not considered murder. There's a big difference between killing and murder. We need to establish this. Christians need to call on atheists to, to ensure that this is being done. It's not enough simply to, to ask the question, who has killed more? We need to ask, who has murdered more? So when we start looking at uh, what defines uh, murder, it puts this question into a whole new perspective, a proper perspective. If somebody commits uh, atrocious crimes, uh, atrocities against society, and they are caught, and they are before a judge, and the judge, uh, through whatever system, either himself or uh, uh, by jury, uh, the person is found to be guilty, and the judge then condemns them to execution, that judge, or the person who pulls the switch, or uh, does whatever to cause the death of that person, that criminal, those people who do it are not considered murderers, even though they in fact killed the person. So you see, huge difference between killing and murder. And what we need to be asking, who has murdered more, God or Satan? Then we need to look at uh, what is defined as being innocent. For that's murder. Murdering is killing the innocent. If you kill an innocent person, you've murdered them. So who has murdered more? Who has killed more innocent people? And what's the definition of innocent? Well, God has made it very clear in Scripture that not everyone is innocent. In fact, in Sodom and Gomorrah, no one was able to be found to be innocent, to be righteous. 
the only ones that God allowed to live was Lot and his family. They were the only ones considered righteous. You look at the great flood. The only people who were considered righteous were Noah and his family. All others were considered evil, were considered guilty in the eyes of God, according to what God deems to be righteous and what God deems to be evil. So when we look at these things, God, as far as I know from what I can tell in Scripture, never murdered one person. He never took the life of one innocent person. And if you believe so, then I would like you to show me. Atheists, clearly show me, identify, according to Scripture, according to its definition of righteous and unrighteous, of evil, who is it that God actually murdered? Not killed, murdered. Now, um, before you get into this and actually respond to it, I want to clarify some things. Yes, God killed babies, and you want to, no doubt, use that as uh, reasoning and call on those uh, instances as support for God having murdered. But let me ask you this. If you were able to go back in time to when Stalin or Hitler or anyone in history who was completely evil and who killed millions of people, who actually murdered innocent people, millions of them, what would you do? And if you went back in time and you were able to hold that baby, baby Hitler or baby Stalin, and you had the opportunity to take that baby's life, would you do it? And if you did, would that be considered murder? Knowing, knowing without a doubt that later on those babies would end up t murdering millions of people. Would you be justified and would you be righteous in saving those millions of people by taking the life of that baby? Now I know people are going to argue one way or the other and say no until they commit the act they are still considered innocent. But now we must look at it from God's perspective and who God is. Because God is not bound by time. God is not restricted by time. God has been to the end of time. God knows the, He knows every thought, every action, every deed. Everything you will ever speak, God has already seen it. And the same is for every baby. God has seen how they will turn out. God is righteous then. When he orders the death of even the babies, God is righteous in doing so, for he knows whether or not they are his children, children of God, or children of Satan. God knows, even in the womb, whether or not someone is truly innocent. So God is like the judge who condemns the, uh, the criminal to a death penalty. That judge is righteous in doing so, and God is righteous in his actions. He is not committing murder. I want to use the uh, example of the Canaanites. I know a lot of atheists uh, use this one, that God commanded the Israelites to kill the Canaanites, even the babies. But this, even, was not murder. For we need to look at who the Canaanites were. They were a race of giants. They were the descendants of giants who were the offspring of uh, the uh, fallen angels mating with women. And these giants were completely evil. They were cannibals. But even more important, we are told in Scripture, in the writings of Enoch, that when these giants died, their souls did not go to heaven or to hell. Their souls remained on earth and roamed about as evil spirits, and they were able to possess animals and humans alike. This is what we see in, uh, uh, in the story where Jesus uh, casts out the legion out of a man, uh, that is, many 
evil spirits, and they in turn go into a herd of swine. These are the evil spirits that are the spirits of dead giants. So when God commanded the Israelites to destroy the Canaanites, he was in fact limiting he was limiting the number of evil spirits that would be left to roam the earth. And God has a plan. Even these evil spirits end up um, being used for, for God's plan. So we need to understand that God had, had a reason. He was not murdering. He was not taking innocent life. These giants that he ordered destroyed were evil. It, more evil than anyone can imagine. So God was not murdering them. And God was just in doing it. So when we look at these things, and I know atheists are going to say, why well, that's ridiculous, you don't believe in evil spirits, and I'm crazy for believing in these things myself. But if you are going to condemn God based on Scripture then you need to also understand Scripture and look at it from the perspective of what is in Scripture. You cannot condemn God because of something in Scripture if you are going to judge it on uh, other, other ways of thinking, other, other knowledge. It must be based on Scripture. And we see in Scripture that God was righteous and just in in causing the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, of causing the destruction of the Canaanites, and causing the great flood. Not one child of God, not one innocent person lost their life. All right, uh, that's about it. Uh, as always, I look forward to comments and messages. I hope this helps Christians who may feel that there might be something to what atheists are saying, that they become confused and even considering what they are saying. The fact is, God has never taken an innocent life. Alright, as always, I look forward to comments and messages. Till next time, peace and blessings.